Hello, what's his name? What's up, McKenzie? What up, dude? Chilla, chilla, what's going on? Not much, man. You ready to do this thing or what? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Alright. You guys got me on speaker or something? Yeah, is that cool or not? Um, actually, probably I could hear better if you put me off it. Alright, alright. Hello? Yep. Alright, cool, cool. Yeah, I'm just, that way I can hear it later when I transcribe it, you know? Alright, yeah. cool. Yeah, so basically, like, um, like I said, it's like, uh, kind of like, uh, you know, trivia kind of stuff, but, uh, could be anything, you know, just stuff like people probably wouldn't know about you kind of stuff, you know? Okay. And uh, I actually had like a whole list of stuff just from uh, talking to Jeff and like, you know, just little topics that you may or may not want to discuss, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. How'd the uh, video shoot go? It's pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, it's pretty good. Hanging out with Noriega and stuff. <laughs> Again, I got photos with him and stuff like that. And yeah? So yeah, yeah, this kid uh, wearing his, all his gold chain and stuff like that. And like, <laughs> he had a cell phone and... He had a mic in his hand, fronting like he was rapping, and it was cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, um, I'm just going to go down. I got, like, a long list of shit here about to start out. Like, uh, someone was saying something about, like, were you, was there, like, some project where you were going to play, like, Flavor Flav's son or something? Say it again? Uh, someone was saying there was some, like, film or project like that where you are gonna you were possibly going to play Flavor Flav's, like, son. Flav Flav, nah, nah, not at all. <laughs> not at all? Nah. There's nothing to that one? Nah, nah. <laughs> Keep it going. Alright, um, so, uh, fuck, uh, Jeff was saying, like, uh, you go through, like, a million pages or something, or you went through, like, a ton of pages at one point? Say it again? Like, pages? Oh, yeah, I, um, I went through millions of pages. Yeah? Yeah, skated pages, chopped it. Is that just, lost like, a while back, or recently, or? Oh, I, was, I was back in, in the 90s, early 90s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, then it started happening with cell phones. <laughs> started losing cell phones, nobody could get in touch with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many cell phones have you been through around about? Uh, i say nine. Nine? Yeah. What's the worst, like, uh, you just dropped them skating or like... Dropped them, skated them, lost them drunk. <laughs> lost them in the cab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm. All right. Um, what about, uh... Fuck. I was thinking like, uh, I mean, obviously we want to have like, it's basically like 15 points, but one of them definitely probably want to talk about like some of the kids stuff, you know? Yeah, okay. Just from filming that. But um, was there anything like uh, going on back then that was like kind of something like people might not know or like anything? Well, like well when, I, when I was working on kids, yeah. Um, I was like, I was pretty hot in skating, you know, I was yeah, out yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it was like, I got a script for a fucking movie. Yeah. Like, I get all these scripts and I would do all these auditions and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And I never would get any. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, and then all of a sudden I would get something. Yeah. And I have a ticket in Brazil because I'm waiting if I'm going to hear or not, but it takes like three weeks. Yeah. So I already got my ticket in Brazil, so I'm stuck in Brazil. And, I'm, and then when I come back, they say I could have had the job, you know, for yeah, another yeah. movie, yeah, you know. Yeah. So Another skating kind of fucked things up, huh? Another one on top of kids, or like? No, no, I was gonna do nothing. Another movie, like an oh, action okay. film. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Like kids, I threw that shit away, you know. Yeah, Trying yeah, to yeah. go to something new. Yeah, 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 totally. But uh, you know. How did that one even come about? Like, you just was it dudes like they kind of like were looking for skaters around the way and uh. Well, uh, they had auditions. Yeah. So yeah, they was looking for some skaters and, and actors. Yeah, yeah. You know. And I was one of the actors, skaters, yeah. dudes that they wanted, yeah, so yeah. they were stoked on. Was there any, ever anything like, uh, like just crazy while you were filming, like that they they wanted to do that was just like... Yeah, really that, like that was just one scene <laughs> when they said, um, um, do the black lasso scene, do the, um, <laughs> like show your dick scene, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Joy, you ever seen a black man's lasso? No? <laughs> like, Jay Joy, you ever seen a black man's dick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was kind of like bugging out that I had to do that. It was in the script. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, when I did that, I was like, fuck it, maybe these girls might get a heart on my dick because I got a big <laughs> dick, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So uh, I whipped it out and shit, and before, I, when I whipped it out, <laughs> I was trying to shake it, but I couldn't because it was too hard. <laughs> because it was, the lady was inside the water with the mic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And she was wearing like a bathing suit, <laughs> so she got me hard. 
So then I went in the bathroom and I beat off in the bathroom, <laughs> busted nut in the bathroom, and I came out and I did the scene. <laughs> so I started wrapping my dick around. <laughs> so, right. you know. That's a good one. Uh, you know. Holy shit. And you were just fucking on the, they had you on the face, right? Like. Yeah, they had me on a couple of the face, that's right. For memories, for kids. <laughs> They had you like fully naked on there. Huh? Hell yeah, full on. <laughs> you seen it? How, no, I ain't seen it yet. You gotta go, you gotta go get it. Yeah, yeah. it's Pretty on newsstands right now. Huh? It's on newsstands right now. It's on newsstands everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Every newsstand. You, you out in LA? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's everywhere. Go to the biggest newsstand in LA. Go to Melrose. You yeah. get on Melrose Sunset. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty gnarly. What did they? How did they come up with that? They just like, yeah, we want to shoot you naked, kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> they're not, not like they they like, they was like. Because they, because they, I'm remembered for that, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, yeah, why not? You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, uh, they banned it in London, though. Oh, really? In a small island in London, they banned it because you know Larry Clark, he's uh pretty uh exclusive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's like risque and shit. But uh, yeah, what do they do out here? They put like a bag over or something? It's not like. Nah, they didn't put no bag. It was straight on full on. On the newsstand. On the newsstand, yeah, it's full on. <laughs> so. Shit. All right. Um. What about, like, how, how did you actually, uh, starting skating, like, how did you get, you know, kind of hooked up and all that shit? Well, I started skating because my mother couldn't afford to buy me a bicycle. Yeah. Or, because uh, all the, all the uh, Puerto Rican kids in my neighborhood and black kids, like, the drug dealers. Yeah, yeah. Like, kids' parents. Uh-huh. Like, their parents' kids. Yeah. Like, they, 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 their parents were drug dealers. Yeah, yeah. So they all got bicycles, they stopped gold chains, you know, they were living off their parents, you know. And they had dope yeah. bikes, and yeah, you have yeah, a dope yeah. bike, you're not down, you can't get no ass. <laughs> you can't get no ass, like, I'd be like, yo, let me get a ride on your bike, and they'd be like, nah, but then you see this girl, Shirley, like, Shirley, let me get, let me get, and Shirley be like, can I get a ride? <laughs> and, um, they were, oh, yeah, sure, then I go to my boy, yo, man, why you give her a ride, not me, yo. You ain't even getting no ass from her, kid, okay? she ain't even got hair no clay yet. You know what I'm saying? Why I can't get a ride? I just want to ride around the block. Nah, my mother said no boys allowed. Yeah, yeah. I said, oh, you're a cupcake. So I punched the kid in the face. <laughs> so then, and then I started hanging out watching Square Park and started seeing kids jumping around. Yeah, yeah. You know, curves and shit like that. Yeah. And then I was like, damn, that shit look cool. And then I saw Back to the Feature. <laughs> and I saw fuck Michael J. Fox cruising in the back of a fucking car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, fuck, I want a skateboard. And I yeah, started yeah. doing that shit. And then I just... Went on from there. Yeah, what was your first, like, kind of sponsor hookup shit? My first sponsor was, uh, this company called, uh, shit, my first sponsor was called Flight Skateboards. They were Flight. out in, uh, uh, Massachusetts. Yeah, yeah. Flight Skateboards. Yeah. Back in the days. Yeah, yeah. And the dude, company went down because he became, like, a drug addict. Oh, really? Yeah, so all the money he was making, he sniffed oh, it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then I, that shit went down. <laughs> then I got sponsored by Shut Skateboards. Yeah. When I was like, after Flight Skateboards, I got sponsored by Shut. That's what Sean Sheffy was on the Yeah, team. yeah, like Sheffy and Flight. And uh, Mike Keppa. Yeah. Fucking Billy Warman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like all the dogs, you know? <laughs> what about, and, um, you got any crazy Billy Warman stories? Uh, crazy, crazy Billy Warman stories? Uh, <laughs> that guy around some? Uh, yeah, one time, I saw Billy Warman skating in, uh, and a Barker Darrow. Yeah, yeah. He was skating the seven with like um jogging. I mean um he was skating the seven. Yeah. Wearing like uh but a pajama suit, a flannel pajama suit with doo doo stains, <laughs> like hardcore doo doo stains, oh, like shit. melted, like no way, crazy styles and like crazy like beat yeah. up like yeah like thunder shirt like yeah, yeah, stains yeah. on it <laughs> and like some fucking like crazy ass like yeah. sketch sketch shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he just did a pop shove down the seven. I was like, oh shit. And I was like, yeah, that's Billy Woman. Everybody get the fuck out of here. Because he was on drugs at the time. I don't know if he was on drugs now, but yeah, he yeah. was tore up back then. Yeah, he was fucked up. Bro. Yeah, he was like really good, and then all of a sudden he just got good. Yeah, yeah. All right, what about, um, out, like, uh, just uh, other celebrities and shit like that? Like, you obviously, like, see those dudes around. Like, you got any crazy, like, stories with those dudes? Well, uh. Like Leonardo, or whatever the fuck. Um. Um, They're saying you're hanging out with Macaulay well, Culkin or something. Uh, yeah, I hang out with Macaulay Culkin in the city. How's that? It's pretty cool. You know, I see him out. I see him out in this place called Dying Hills, 80s night. You know, go out there, we drink. You know, little drinks. Is he a mellow guy? Or? Yeah, he's mellow. You know, I said a few words to him, but like, 
But like we, we 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 talk every time we go out and stuff like that. But like all the ladies around him and shit like that. And I have my ladies too, so yeah, yeah. You know, it's just like it's like a cool thing when I'm out. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Say what up, what up? You know. But Leonardo DiCaprio, um, he's pretty cool guy. You know. Yeah. Like um. He would have private parties. I would I'd go to his house and we have private parties. Like all these girls would come, all these models and shit would come. Yeah, yeah. And we have so much fun, you know. Like so, he's definitely into the ladies. And like, yeah, he, he loves ladies. How's yeah, man? That dude, dude be having orgies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like he'd be like, yo, go for my friend Harold. <laughs> like, like the like I be trying to flirt, for, I be trying to flirt with the girl. Yeah. And the girl won't go for me. Yeah, yeah. So she goes, so Leo goes, if you don't go for Harold, I'm not gonna go for you. <laughs> So then she was like, come on, Leo, don't be like that, don't be like that. <laughs> and then I'd be like, nah. And Leo would be like, nah, nah. Um, Joe, if you want me, you got to go for Harold. <laughs> so, Good so, so then the girl would be like, oh, yeah, yeah. She's like, whatever, whatever. So then yeah, I'd be like, I'm like, what's up, what's up? There ain't nothing, man. <laughs> if, you play, like, if you play with me, just think about Leo. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I wind up hooking up with the girls and shit like that. <laughs> Let's yeah. go back in the days. Yeah, yeah. What up? What? You got any other dudes you seen around? Like just fucking famous um, people. Um, Mike Rappaport is one of my homies. Yeah. Yeah, he's one of my best homies. Yeah. Um, what's his deal? Uh, he's cool. He's, you know, he's a funny guy. He's from New York. Yeah, yeah. Talks like a New York. He's a white guy. Speaks like a brother from New York. <laughs> You know, he's black sometimes, I think, um, he's black sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's straight up. Yeah. Cool. And, um, who else, uh, um, oh, Punky Brewster. <laughs> Late Moon Fry, you know, I did a movie with her. I lived with her. I used to live at a house when I was a kid. No way. Yeah. Wait, she used to live in New York City. She started going to college in New York City. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. She, you lived with her, though, like, in the city? Yeah, I lived with her in the city for, uh, I never lived, uh, um, Soleil Mufry for a year. Yeah? Yeah, in Manhattan. Serious? And, um, we did a movie together called Lunchtime Special, but that didn't come out, but... What's it called? Lunch, lunch Time Special. Oh, it didn't come out? And it didn't come out, now. It's got, like... But, uh, that, that's when I moved back, that's when I moved out to California. I stayed with her there for a little bit. Oh, really? Man. What's her name, actually? What's Huh? What's her, like, real name? Soleil Moonfry. Soleil Moonfry. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, I told David Blaine, that's my boy. <laughs> you know, David Blaine, Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Magician, dude? Yeah. He's a magician guy. Yeah, yeah. That's my boy. I, I told him when he used to nod out, you know? Oh, like, really? Yeah, like, uh, I go to parties and shit like that. They get fucked up on drugs, you know, Leo. Yeah, yeah. David Blaine, they all fucked up, you know? Yeah. That's when they were young, you know? Yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, they used to have a lot of girls around and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to drink 40s and blunts while those guys are, like, all, all aged out and shit. Yeah, yeah. You know, and they got, they tried to rape, um, um David Blaine once. <laughs> this girl, Bijou Phillips. Because, uh, uh, David Blaine. Yeah. David Blaine was not now. Yeah. Because Bijou Phillips tried to open his pants and, like, go down on him. <laughs> and I was like, I'm going to call rape. I'm gonna call rape just like how girls do it on guys. I'm gonna call rape on you. I'm gonna call rape. <laughs> Leave that boy alone. To the Carol, you don't even know he likes me. You know he does it because he's trying to have you off him <laughs> the all day. You trying to suck his dick. <laughs> the fuck out of here, Wait, yo. Wait, who's the dude trying Tramp. to go down on the dude? No, no, no. It's Bijou Phillips is a girl. Bijou. Oh, oh Bijou Phillips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she was trying to go down on David. Oh, yeah, Blaine. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, while he was on heroin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you heard of Mamas and Papas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, the daughter. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. Crazy. Her name is Bijou Phillips. Okay. She's an actress. Yeah, yeah, I totally know. Her. Yeah. What about, um, you never had, like, a driver's license or nothing? Huh? Driver's license? Oh, uh, my driver's license? You never had one, or did you? Nah, have... hell no. I grew up in New York, never drove in my life. Never even, even been for a wheel. You never even tried? Like, you never wanted no. to try to drive? I never had a, I never had a chance. Yeah. You know, I'm in California. I'm like, yo, keep these drugs. Yeah, I'm in town for a week, man. Fuck the hell is y'all teach you how to drive, huh? <laughs> that shit never happened, yo. <laughs> what do you do now? You ride, like, how do you get around in New York? Well, uh, I, take, I, I have a bike. I skate around, bus. Yeah. If I go to, go to a club, <laughs> take a cab. With my, I buddy up in the cab with my homies. Yeah. Go out to the club, chill with my girl. Yeah. You know, we go drive around. Yeah. And, you know, cars. Yeah, yeah. 
You know, it's easy to get around New York. It's not like California. Yeah, yeah Like, yeah. if I want a candy bar, I yeah. could just go downstairs and go to a candy, go get a candy bar. Yeah, yeah. In the suburbs, you want a candy bar, you got to drive five miles. Yeah, yeah. You know, everything's convenient in New York City. Yeah, no shit. You know, that's why I love New York. It's like, so, it's a fast life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? There's so much to do that you can't even get in touch with somebody else. You yeah. know what I mean? It's yeah, hard yeah. to do business. Yeah, yeah. You know? Like, I was supposed to do an interview with you yesterday, but Noriega came up, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it's cool. So, like, I keep it moving. Yeah, yeah. What about, um, Jeff was saying something about, like, uh, you ever, you almost got in a fight with, like, some dudes from Wu-Tang a while back? Oh, yeah, um. Ghostface? And, like, yeah, it was crazy, like, um, circle through a fat-ass party. Yeah, yeah. And we'll take perform and stuff like that, and then they have the after party. Yeah. So that someone was walking around. I guess there was some new guys coming up, yeah. rappers. Yeah. And um. And uh, this guy was like, he like bumped me. Yeah. In a party, and then I was just like, and I was like, whatever, like you know, I go whatever, and then he looked at me. I was wearing a New York hat. Yeah. I was like, what you say, son? What you say, son? <laughs> I said, yo, man, I ain't say nothing to you, kid, but don't try to play me out because it's because you down Wu Tang. I don't give a fuck about you, nigga. <laughs> it was like, you're not even from New York. I'm from New York, kid. I'm from Money Making Man. What's up? <laughs> What's up, nigga? Try to play me out, nigga? Bugging? <laughs> so, um, so the other dudes came up like, whoa, 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 like yeah. that. Yeah. So then all these skaters were like, whoa, 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 you know? Yeah. We in a skater family, you know? Skaters gonna get down with each yeah, other. Yeah. Break those fucking bastards' yeah. heads open. Yeah, yeah. So whatever, I was like, yo, man, I didn't even want to try to fight fight with you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I came to your, this party because you guys are performing, yeah. and you guys are going to get drunk, and you're going to try to fight everybody, yo, this ain't jail. Yeah, yeah. If you want to fight, go go to jail. <laughs> Call the preset and say, yo, I want to fight, I want to go to jail. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, right. you know. Fuck that, yeah. So I, uh, <laughs> so what you call it, like, late at night, I'll go back to the, uh, I go back to my hotel, the Marriott. Yeah. Right? And uh, all of a sudden, the guy's walking down the street, walking down the hallway, yeah. and he's looking at me all crazy, up and down, thugging yeah. out. Yeah. I said, yo, man, what's wrong with your face? You got a problem with your face? <laughs> he was like, what? What you say, dude? And, there's other, and then he had like six foot motherfuckers. Like, yo, what you said, dude? <laughs> what you said, dude? I said, oh, yeah, yo, you way bigger than me, son. You're like seven feet. And I'm 5'9". Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Your man is my height. Uh -huh. Let me and him um, do a one-on-one. -on -one. Uh -huh. Me and him, he's like, nah, nah, we ain't gonna go out like that. We ain't gonna go out like that. I go, cause so you pussy, all your niggas is pussy then, right? Uh -huh. You ain't gonna go out like that? So my man Baby Schizo comes up real quick. Uh -huh. He had a fucking screwdriver in his hand, ready to stab one of them in the, in the throat. Yeah, yeah. You heard this Baby Schizo, right? Yeah, yeah, no. Way. So he came with a screwdriver and he's gonna stab him in the throat. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you know. Shit. It's a rap. Okay. So, like, he saw the attention of all these other skaters came up. Yeah, yeah. So, I was like, yo, what's up, man? You gonna <laughs> jump me? Now we gonna jump you. Yeah, yeah. So, what's up? Let's make this even. Let's make an even fight. Yeah. Because your body is bigger than me. Your body's like a weapon. <laughs> I need something to match your body. So, this is my crew. Yeah, yeah. So, my crew came. And he had his crew. Yeah. And then he backed up. He was like, yo, man, what up, son? They ain't even all about that, son. <laughs> and I was like, I know it ain't even all about that, son. <laughs> Your motherfuckers on stage making money, getting the ass, and you're gonna fight a small timer? <laughs> a loser like me? Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm just trying to make money myself, but I ain't showing off. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You are the Wu Tang. Your music is everywhere. Yeah. Skaters buy your music. Yeah. I buy your music. Yeah, yeah. Please leave me alone and let me keep buying your music. <laughs> so now all that shit went down. I don't give a rat ass about Wu Tang. I like the Rizzo. I like. I like the original Wu. Which but they were you they, fucking... But I like the original Wu, but I don't like the new guys that came up. I don't know who the fuck they are, but yeah, they, yeah, just, yeah. they just came up, you know? I like yeah. the original Wu, because they yeah. were cool, you know? Yeah, yeah. Hey, what about the uh, that slam at, like, ASR and the, the long gap thing? What was that? Oh, oh, that, that? <laughs> That's crazy. I was like, fuck that. How do, who told you? Would you? Cause I'm a legend, you know what I'm saying? I'm a legend like Ron Allen. Yeah. I'm a legend like fucking Mark Gonzalez. Did you just walk up there like I'm a legend to, like, huh? You just want to do it? Like no one was like telling you to go do it or nothing? Nah, nobody's telling me to go do it. I just want my, I want, I want to my own history. I was yeah, like, yeah. I was like, yeah, that shit is easy. I could do that shit. $10,000, motherfuckers, Danny Way's jumping out of a fucking yeah, plane yeah. into a fucking vert ramp. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got fucking Colin McCain <laughs> fucking jumping out of a fucking plane too. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's a fucking, a fucking, um, <laughs> a fucking rant. Yeah, yeah. You know, a vert rant. Yeah. 
And I'm like, fuck it. Yeah. Let me try to jump this fucking gap. It's just a fucking gap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. I said that in my head. Yeah. So I saw these legends around, so I was like, I'm a legend. I've been around for a long time. Let me rap. Let me let, let me represent. Yeah, yeah. So I was I was on top of the quarter pipe, you know? Yeah. I dropped down it. I cruised it and I was like, I slow down. And then I was like, whoa, I ain't gonna do this. So then I went back up and all the, the crowd was going, Haru, 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 Haru. <laughs> Did it look Haru. crazy long? And I was like, when I got close to it, that shit got longer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it looked, it looked close, it looked, like it looked very close yeah, when yeah. I was on top of the quarter pipe. Right, right, right. But when I dropped in, I was like, damn, why that ramp is moving? <laughs> and I thought I was gonna ask or something. Yeah, yeah. So then I Ollie, I, so I went to Ollie and I was gonna just throw my board and then just like whatever, like land. Yeah. Like just land. Like in the middle or something, yeah, I didn't yeah. even try to like fucking like go over the ramp. I yeah. just wanted to push my board. I just try it out. Yeah. But I went so I I I, I went kind of fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like I didn't even like ollie. I like <laughs> I like just fucking said fuck it. I'm getting on top of the ramp. Yeah, yeah. I'm flying in the air. I thought I was gonna go over the ramp. I was like, why am I not going over the ramp? Why am mid air? I yeah. feel like I was in mid air and I fell down. Like I went up and down. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I wound up banging my banging. I ran up crashing into the Grand King poster. Yeah, yeah. And fucking banged my chest. Oh, really? And then I, and then I went under the fucking ramp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like a hundred motherfuckers went under the ramp and grabbed me <laughs> and picked me up out of the ramp and, they, and I was all right and I, I got up with a smile and everybody was <laughs> smiling with me. They're like, "Hi, bro, yeah, yeah." They were happy for me and everything. I was alive, you know. Yeah, yeah. But ten thousand dollars, Jesus Christ, man. That's a lot of money. That's man. a lot of fucking money. Let's yeah. go all out. Let's play. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know, and I, you know, there's a lot of things I do in the city. I, you know, I, I come up. I jump some big shit. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, without the fucking camera, I don't need a video camera or or, or, or a picture camera. Yeah, you know, I have yeah, fun yeah. with my friends and people who brag the next day. The Harold killed it. Harold was yeah, yeah, yeah. ripping last night. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Skate better when I'm out the camera. Yeah, yeah. You know, but I just did it because I wanted to do it and I wanted to get that ten thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah. You know, because I'm in debt. I owe a lot of people money. Yeah, yeah. I'm only playing, only playing. <laughs> nah, but you know. Hey, um, yeah. what's up with uh? We you were gonna get a shoe like a while back, no? With like Vision or something? Yeah, I was gonna get a shoe with Vision. How did that? How did that? Streetwear. Yeah. Well, uh, I was gonna get a shoe with those guys and um. And at the time, uh, at the time, I wasn't writing for Zoo. Yeah, yeah. So it was like, it was like, uh, I, I, and then my boy wasn't on the website. Yeah. You know, there, I, I was writing for Zoo, but I started my own, like, line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With Harold Hunter. Right. But, uh, so, they, I, so they just put my board out, so they were waiting for my board to come in. Yeah. So, um, Vision checked my, my website. Mm-hmm. And they were like, does your website? And then they see my board up and stuff like that. That's yeah, a, yeah. a team writer. So they were like, had no idea I was pro or anything like that at yeah. the time. Yeah, yeah. And they know, they, I feel that they never even like, um, I feel that they never even uh, knew I was ever around, even though I was blown up, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, because yeah. they died out and they just jumped on the scene. Yeah, fuck yeah. You know what I mean? So they just, they just asked anybody, yo, you want to shoot, you want to shoot, you know? <laughs> So I was like, yeah, I was like, I want to shoot, shit. Yeah. Shit, I'm a legend, motherfucker. Yeah, Give yeah. me a motherfucking shoot. <laughs> so they saw my shit, and, um, you know, uh, I mean, they, just, um, they asked me I want to shoot, and then they went through the uh, research for the, the website and shit yeah, like yeah, that, yeah, yeah. and stayed out. And my, my boy wasn't up there, and um, they were like, you don't have a board out yet. I was like, yeah, oh, we need you to have a board out. So that happened. Oh, really? Yeah. Shit. Who were you dealing with over there? Some dude? It wasn't. I was dealing with a uh, dude named Andy. Some fat dude named Andy, I think. Oh yeah, yeah. Big dude. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but like he, I don't know, he was. What else? Oh, yeah, what else? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what about um, right now you are you you, you started like rapping and shit and like DJing? Yeah, it's it like New York. We, we like over at New York. We have a studio. Yeah. And we also have a label called New York Media Group. Yeah, yeah. So they wanted to have a uh, bunch of rappers and stuff like that, you know, be on their labels. Yeah, yeah. And try to pull out a single. Yeah, yeah. Put out, like, a little, like, you know, pull out, like, a CD. Yeah, yeah, A right. full CD. Totally. 
And they asked me if I wanted to do that shit. So I was like, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> and I've been doing that shit for years, bugging out, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have a studio, and we, we just record a lot. You know, I work with a lot of famous artists and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, Jeff was saying it took you, like, you had some trouble memorizing, like, some of the shit you wrote, like. <laughs> yeah. You know? I got into it, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You write your own shit, though? Yeah, I write my own shit. Yeah. Yeah. And you do well, I get help for some people. I work with Muska. Yeah. On Muska Beats. Yeah, yeah. And stuff like that. Yeah, you and, see him uh, out there doing his he thing. Helped me write, he helped me write some stuff. Yeah, Muska was out there for a while, right? Doing yeah, himself. he was out there for a while. Did you ever go by and like see what he's up to and shit? Yeah, I went to a studio yeah. down in Soho Grand. Yeah, yeah. At a studio. And um, I worked with him and yeah. this guy, Mike Wright, worked with him. We had a oh, good yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. He's fun to... Uh, to work with. You ever, what's, you ever have a crazy, like, Muska story, like, just going out or whatever? Um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Skating? How was it? Yeah. One time, it was just like, I was, I was in Arizona with him. Yeah. And he's like, yo, how let's go skate. You're gonna love that AZ, da 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 You're gonna skate these Israel. I was just like, yeah. And I saw a 20-step fucking round. Yeah. And, and he was looking at it like, how am I gonna do it? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. And I was like, yeah. Yeah. Do it with me. Come on, I'll smoke some of this weed. Come on. I'm like, hell's no, you bugging. <laughs> so that motherfucker, and my mind's like, yo, you bugging. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't even think he did it. And my man did a front side lip slide down the road. Crazy. Landed. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah. And then, you know, that big gap in Arizona, that big thing you did? Yeah. The shorties video, and at the end, it said for fun. Yeah, yeah, I know. I was there that day. Yeah. And uh, um, I helped him pick some bricks up. Put yeah. it down. Yeah, yeah. Put like a little ramp. With the kids going. I didn't think he was going to do the shit. Yeah. And it was like, he was just like on, fuck you, I'm doing it. And he just jumped the shit. <laughs> and landed the shit. Yeah. And I was fucking like, this is my favorite skater in the whole wide world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That dude is amazing. Yeah, yeah. He got style. He's the man. Nah, he's sick for sure. Dude. I love my skill. What's, uh, like, you have, what's the craziest, like, you, you have, like, run-ins with the law any times? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. What's the uh, worst shit that happened, kind of like, that you could talk about? worst shit, I was fucking skating in the parking lot. Uh. And fucking, um, I was skating in the parking lot. And, um, and, um, uh, my friend was picked up a pole. Mm -hmm. And he started playing baseball with, it with rocks. Yeah, yeah. And then and I said, I want to play with the pole too. And he threw the rocks. And then yeah. I hit the pole. Yeah. And I hit the rocks. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, I threw the pole over the over the ledge, and I had a van full of cops. <laughs> so the cop, the cops is like, oh shit, oh shit, <laughs> like that one, bang, hit the uh, van. Yeah. And they were off duty. Yeah. And all of a sudden, they came up to the. Uh, it was a parking garage, you know, yeah, with yeah. parking garage that go downhill. Mm -hmm. So they cruise all the way up there, speeding up there. Yep. And we got arrested. And I thought I was gonna die that day. I thought they were gonna fucking shoot us. Yeah, yeah. They thought I did it on purpose. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, so. So you never been, you ever you gone to jail or anything for? Yeah, I went, to, I went to jail for that. Yeah. And then um, I got arrested in Long Beach. Yeah, yeah. For trespassing, and I was staying in a goddamn hotel. Oh, really? Yeah, my name wasn't in the computer, so they arrested me. Yeah. And I was in jail with some Mexican dude. <laughs> we shot at 20, 21 cops. Yeah. He, he didn't, he didn't, he, he missed all of them. Yeah. And he ran out of bullets, so the cops grabbed him and banged him up. Yeah. And he was in the jail cell, and he's like, fuck it, that's it. If the cops hit me, like, if the cops shoot at me, I'm going to shoot back, that's it. Yeah. And he's scared of none of me. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit, this motherfucker's wild. <laughs> and I'm here for trespassing, and I'm here with some fucking murder yeah. lunatic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I couldn't wait to get out of there, and I got out of there. Yeah, yeah. Went right back home. <laughs> Never got in trouble again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> what about, um, dude, you ever have any fucking, uh, like, uh, huh? you never had, like, no offers to do, like, porn or nothing like that? No. Nope. None, none of that shit. None of that shit? Nah. Hell no. No interest? Nah, they, the people said stuff like that, but not, that's not my style. Yeah. Man, yeah, never, 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 never. But you ever, you I don't, I don't, I, that's one thing I would never do, play myself. Yeah. Like, I have friends that did stuff like that. Yeah. But not me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But you got your own footage and shit, like, with chicks, right? Like, <laughs> Uh, I got footage of kissing a girl, <laughs> like on, on the skateboard video. Oh, uh, shit. That's out, like, on uh, Underwear Element. I mean, uh, um, a rookie profile. Yeah. That's it. You don't shoot no footage with Oh, uh, hell, man. nah, nah. <laughs> I have friends that do it, you know. I've been there, I watch my friends. Yeah. You know, that do it, but that's not me. Yeah. What's, like, the craziest chick you ever, like, cooked up with, basically? Like, you know what I mean? Like, a crazy chick I ever hooked up with? Yeah, just, like, random girl or, uh, I don't know, dude. Uh... 
Like you ever have like I'll, an I'll, ultimate I'll, fan? I'll, I'll, I'll double two. I'll double two girls that were sisters before. Yeah. They were twins. Yeah, yeah. In California, they were real beautiful. They were models. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was the crazy shit that ever happened. Yeah. You ever get like, like even back when kids came out, like would you have like crazy fan? Like ever like? Crazy oh hell, fan it was shit? crazy. It was crazy. Like, dude, you're from the movie. Like whatever, you get like chicks. Yeah, off, right? yeah I got chicks and shit. And a lot of times I had a girlfriend too. Yeah. So I was faithful a lot. Yeah. But like when when I was single, that's why my girls broke up with me because I had too much fame. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah. You ever um. You ever enter any skate, like, contests or anything like that? What's it again? Skate contest? Did I have an answer? Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Like, what, what, what kind of contest you enter? At the uh, pro contest. At the one in Newburgh. Yeah. State New York. Yeah. And Mike Villelli took me to the hospital and I broke my leg. Yeah. At a few contests in um, Arizona. Yeah. And, um, and, um, Connecticut, San Diego. Yeah. You know, yeah. stuff like that, yeah. Yeah. But I ran into contest shit. It's yeah. too much, you know. You got all these little kids coming up trying to burn you, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's so, true. And that little kids are the best because I was one of those little kids trying to burn the pros off. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. All right, so what's like, um, basically, like, what's all the shit you've been in, like, in terms of, like, uh, acting roles, you know what I mean? Like, you I've been in Music on the Cover. I've been in NYPD Blue. Yeah. I've been in this movie, Lifetime Special, with Soleil Moonfry. Yeah. I've been on Hand on the Pump. Yeah. Um, What's that? Did, hand uh, on the Pump? What? Hand, hand on the Pump. Is that a, what is a that? movie? Oh, okay. Independent film. Yeah. Um, did videos, cheap trick videos, John Osborne yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, um, I've worked in a movie called Pigeonhole. Yeah. I, uh, I got a movie called Grind. Yeah. Um, I'll be out in November. I'm oh, working that on a movie. Flick? Yeah. I'm like going to be Warner in that. Brothers or something? Yeah, I'm gonna be in that. What's that about? This kid got in a video world game and shit like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um. What else? What else? Uh. Hey, what's up? Uh, you had like a. Did you ever, you lived with your uncle, like Walter or something? Oh uh, no, nah, nah. I used to when I was a little kid, but uh. <laughs> but uh, not anymore. And I have my own place. I. I, I I don't live with him anymore. It was crazy. What was up with that dude? I don't know he was on drugs and stuff like that. And um, um, he would he would like steal from us, take our radios and shit like that. No way. Yeah, he was, he was, he was a drug addict. He was a drug addict. Yeah. And I lied and said he stole so much stuff from me, and he hit me and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. But he actually he did hit me when I was young. You know? Yeah. A lot. You know, he used to take stuff from me. Yeah. And, um, he just um, living with you because it was like family or whatever? Yeah, so me and my brothers got older and we jumped and we beat him up. No way. We stomped on him. I broke his fingers. Jeez. Where's he at now? Because he used to abuse me when I was a kid. Now I heard he's in jail and drugs. Oh, really? Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. Um. Uh, how you do? Like, where you, where you live at right now? You. I live on 13th Street between B and C, yeah. in Manhattan. Yeah, yeah. The Lower East Side is pretty nice. Yeah, yeah. I live in a nice part of Manhattan. Manhattan's the best. Yeah. I'd rather be in Manhattan than Brooklyn, Bronx, Queens, Staten Island. Yeah. Manhattan's the best place to be. More shit going on. Or yeah, there's more shit going on. Yeah. Now they always say on the radio, go Brooklyn, go Brooklyn. <laughs> but then all of a sudden, Brooklyn winds up in Manhattan hanging out, trying to get jobs and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, what about, um, like, dude, you, you pretty much know, like, all the doormen and shit like that around, right? Say it again? Like, all the nightclubs and shit, like, all the doormen, they know you. Well, now the, the hot spots is, like, this place called Spa. Yeah. Bungalow 8. Yeah. It's pretty dope, but, um, what else is good? Uh, then they got my night called Bar B. Yeah. It's, uh, Tuesday nights. It's on 188 Allen Street, 188 Allen Street, between yeah. Houston and, and Allen. Yeah. It's a hot bar. I DJ 80s music, rock, yeah. and I'm um, hip-hop and stuff like that. Yeah. I'm, like, this, you know, dope, like, DJ. <laughs> I ain't playing. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I do that. I go to that, and I go to uh, Don Hill's, you know, 80s night. Yeah, yeah. My boy Frankie DJ's there. Yeah. He's pretty dope. He's pretty dope. And I, and I go to a lot of, and I go to Max Fish. It's one of my bars. I hang out with Alex. Yeah. From Supreme. Yeah, yeah. And um, A. Ron goes down there, and you know. Yeah. And uh, all the Supreme guys, you know. Yeah. Geo. You know, Tank. 
comes down to Max Fish sometimes. You can say Max Max Fish is supreme because Supreme holds it down. Yeah, yeah. Got Mark Razo fucking bartending. Yeah, yeah. Hucking us up free drinks, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's a skater's bar. Yeah, yeah. You know, the Razo brothers yeah. holding it down. Got Tino Razo yeah. doing the door for the ID and all that shit. Yeah. So all you key skateboarders out there, yeah. you ever come to New York City, you want to go to the skater's bar, yeah. go to uh, Max Fish. Max Fish, huh? Yeah. <laughs> shit, any other, um, I'm just trying to think, dude, you got, like, you got any crazy stories just... Shit, like, definitely kids wouldn't know, like, kind of shit, like, I don't know, man, like, um, damn, shit, I'm doing my, I'm doing my, I'm doing my acting, and I'm gonna come out, and I'm gonna rip it up. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna be skating more. Yeah. Kids gonna start seeing me more things. Yeah, what's up with your, you got, like, your own line, or what, is it your Yeah, own? Harold Hunter Skateboard. Yeah. Harold Hunter Clothes. Got yeah. my own line, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, you're almost, like, you know, like, you're... Your personality is like almost, you know what I mean, like part of the deal. You know what I mean, like along with your skating. You know what I mean? Yeah, right on. Kind of, you kind of, you kind of like bring it to the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Then I try to put it all in one box. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, <laughs> like, like it's like the guns. You know, it does the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah who are your favorite skaters? Like pretty. Mark Gonzalez. For sure. For sure. He's always gonna be there. Mark Gonzalez. I always get excited. I, I, he's one of the guys that got me psyched to do that jump. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You ever chill with him at all? Like, yeah, I killed him. He used to stay in New York with this guy, Jeremy Henderson. Yeah, yeah. You got any and, stories from back in the day on that one? I remember Marcus I was learning. He was like, I can't do vertical flips. I don't know how to do vertical flips. Straight flips? flips? I don't know. Straight flips. I don't know how oh, to do yeah. it. Yeah. And he learned it that day, but beautiful. His legs, his legs was like air walking in the air, and it was yeah. floating. It was so bugged out on the big board. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and like, and he does the weirdest handrails, and, you know, he's a ripper. Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah. Word. Yeah. Alright, man, that's fucking my whole list. Can you think of any other shit that you might want to put in there? Yeah, to say all the kids out there keep skating. Yeah. Do nothing I wouldn't do. Yeah. Um, uh, um, and, uh, buy my boards and order my boards. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and buy my clothing line. <laughs> Harold Hunter, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Go to Japan. Yeah. And at the zoo store, we got a zoo store in Japan. Yeah. I'm blowing up, I'm famous, <laughs> and it's a rap. Yeah. All right? All right, dude. Okay. Hey, Bye-bye. Let, let uh. me talk to Jeff real quick. Okay, hold on, Jeff. Thanks, though. You're welcome. Here you go, Jeff. Let's talk. Thanks, Star. Star. Hey. I know it's going to take you like four years to fucking transcribe. I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, that's cool, man. Maybe I, I might I might call you back, you know, like later and uh, okay. go over <laughs> some shit, you know what I mean? Yeah, man. You can give me like an objective, like outside kind of, you know? Right, right. View or whatever. Uh-huh. But I, I think it'd be just good just to go run with it. <laughs> I know, fuck, because the thing is, like, I'm thinking like, Usually we kind of like transcribe it out. It's like uh, you know, like uh, we kind of write it out in our voice. But I'm thinking like this one, like it's almost better just to have it like in his voice. You know what I mean? Like, exactly. Because so, it's just like the way he said it. So <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. Funny shit. Yeah, it doesn't have to be proper English. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's like gonna make it fucking better. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna give you a call back. Like, are you gonna be around like uh, maybe in an hour or something? Yeah, I'll be around. All right, but thanks for hooking that up, dude. Dude, my pleasure, McKenzie. Yeah. All right, dude. All right, bye. Peace.